Hello children, here is another English lesson which is all about adverbs. Let us read the sentences and note the underlined words. These are some of the sentences taken from the dialogue you have read a while ago. Let's read them. We should listen attentively. I speak loudly and clearly. I should do my work correctly and properly. What is the underlined word in the first sentence? Yes, it's attentively. How about in the second sentence? There are two, loudly and clearly. And in the third sentence, there are also two, which are correctly and properly. Here are another sentences. Joni dances gracefully. What's the underlined word? Gracefully. Mia sings sweetly. What's the underlined word? Sweetly. Now, I want you to read the sentences again by yourself. What do we call these underlined words? What do they describe? Attentively, loudly, clearly, correctly, properly, gracefully, and sweetly are words that show how a person does an action. These words are called adverbs of manner. Adverbs describe action words or verbs. There are different kinds of adverbs, namely, adverb of manner, adverb of place, and adverb of time. Here are more sentences. Let us identify the adverb of manner in each sentence. One. Speak softly when somebody is sleeping. What is the adverb of manner? Softly. What does it describe? The verb speak. How should you speak when somebody is sleeping? Softly. 2. He entered the room silently. What is the adverb of manner? Silently. What does it describe? The verb entered. How did he enter the room? Silently. 3. I easily followed the recipe you gave me. What is the adverb of manner? Easily. What does it describe? The verb followed. How did I follow the recipe? Easily. Many adverbs of manner end in ly. Have you noticed that? They are formed mostly by adding ly to an adjective. Here is the formula. Adjective plus ly equals adverb. Examples Careful plus ly equals carefully. Patient plus ly becomes patiently. And quiet plus ly becomes quietly. Can you think of more examples of adverb of manner? Can you use them in sentences? Well, Let's see.